Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to show you how to disassemble this. This is an HP 27 inch all in one from 2025. In particular, this is the HP 27-CT2009. That's a Canadian specific spec, but the equivalent American spec is the HP CT000M and the European spec is the HP 27CT2000NE. But it boils down to, if you've got an HP all-in-one, that's 24 inch or 27 inch from about 2025, this is probably the video for you. And the reason we disassembled it, and it's just a basic disassembly, is to show you that anybody can perform basic upgrades on this. Change your RAM, change the hard drive, things like that. So look, you can see we've already got it apart. Let's show you how we did that and then how to put it back together. Flip this upside down and you'll see there's a button right here. Push that button and slide the base off. There it is. Place the unit face up. And then you need to pull this little plastic off. Now you can probably just do it with your fingers, but if you don't have specialized tools like this, just use an old credit card. Just pops off. Put it aside. And then in here, there are six screws. So this is just a number two, just any sort of standard Phillips will do. For some reason, my magnetic tip isn't working very well, so I'm just going to tip this over and bang them out. There they go, they'll just drop out. There they all are, beautiful. Normally we tell you to keep your screws in a particular order that they came out, but they're all the same, so you don't need to, just put them aside because everything has to have a name, they call us a tri-side micro edge, which basically means there's three sides that are very thin. And what you need to do is pop it out. It's just simply clipped in. Get your pry tool in and very carefully move it along, prying it up. There we go. Put a little brace in to stop it from popping back and just keep going around. Slide, pop, slide, pop, slide, pop, slide, pop, slide, pop. Just keep going. The ribbon is down on the bottom here somewhere, so you don't want to just lift it up. In fact, you want to lift it this way if at all possible. Now I can drop that down. I've got my hand in here and I can just slide, pop, slide, pop. Slide, pop. Now I think it's out. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So we can just tilt it this way. Is the ribbon at the bottom? Yeah, there it is. The ribbon's at the bottom. So let's go over the components and what you can actually upgrade. Obviously your camera. You might think that's your CPU, but it's not. That's just your CPU fan. The CPU is under here. These heat pipes take the heat out. That's your Wi-Fi. This runs Wi-Fi 6, by the way, which is wonderful. Wi-Fi 7 is out, but 6 is excellent. And then under here, Yep, this is our dims. So it's pretty popular these days to solder the RAM right on the board. It saves the company some money. But HP has been good enough to put these little dim sockets in, SO dim specifically, so you can just pop these out. This claims that its maximum is 32 gig. This particular unit ships with 16, which gets to a good point. This is called a Lupin motherboard, L-U-P-I-N. And I found a European spec one that says it can do 64 gig. So I will be shocked if I can't actually get 64 gig in this. Something to note is that the RAM that's in here is actually pretty good. It shipped with PC5 4480, also known as DDR5 5600 SO DIMMs. That's a pretty good speed. This runs on the PCI4 bus, not the PCI5 bus, which was a bit of a concern. However, when you check the benchmarks, you'll see it makes practically no difference. You have to be doing extreme data analysis, a lot of heavy scientific work to actually have in real life PCI-5 be faster than PCI-4. It just doesn't make any difference in real world applications, including things like video processing. If you're doing huge video processing like 4K and 8K, oh yeah, that could make a difference. But regular 1080p stuff and lower, 
no problem with PCI-4. And in fact, even the higher case stuff is fine with PCI-4, it's just PCI-5 is a little better. Okay, then there's also the 2280 SSD. So that's 22 millimeters by 80 millimeters. This particular unit is a one terabyte, but if I keep this, I'm going to put in a four terabyte. I need more space. And as far as the Wi-Fi goes, you're never going to replace it. You're just practically not. You could, but you're just not going to. So really what it's down to for upgrading is the SSD storage and the RAM. All right, let's put it back together. So start at the top. Okay, basically just do this backwards. Make sure whenever you're working on a screen that you never apply specific pressure to the screen or you'll do what we call bruise it, which is basically damaging the cells. You don't want to do that. So you apply your palm to it if you have to squeeze it in. There we go. In fact, what you want to do is squeeze more from your fingers than from the top. The top is just to stop it from popping out. The actual clips for this are, are here, not right at the edges. So squish with your fingers up. Pop your six screws back in. Before you finish up, give them another little crank. Just make sure that they're in tight. You don't want them being loose. Just torque them down a little bit. This just clips on. So you saw this is not rocket science to disassemble the HP 27 inch all-in-one from 2025. Not a, not a problem at all. So if you have a HP 27-CT, that's the AMD line, or the HP 27CR, that's the Intel line, what we showed you is exactly how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. You can upgrade your own memory. You can upgrade your own hard drive. Theoretically, you could upgrade your own Wi-Fi, but you're never going to do that. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.